everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today is my 15 of 2015 challenge. This is a challenge that the um, Beauty Diva uh, Natalie has done. So without further ado, here's my 15 that I picked for 2015. All right, first item. I got in Sally Beauty Supply. I love going in Sally Beauty Supply. Um, a lot of times I do get a lot of my hair care in there, but I do get skin care. And they have the brand called uh, Queen Helene. Queen Helene is, that, I think that is how you say it. Queen Helene. This is the Marilla Face and Body Cream. It protects, renews, and age is age defying. Um, it restores, 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 oh my god, I think I've had a little bit too much coffee, no, I didn't have no coffee today, hmm, anywho, um, it has Marilla face and butt, I just said that, didn't I, anyway, it restores the moisture, um, in your skin, it's very very hydrating I really like it and I do as it says here face and body I do use it on my face some would not want to do that because it is a very very thick dense moisturizer but what I do is I do use this at night I don't use it every single night I use it like right now with the winter months here especially um, I do put it on sometimes at night it kind of melts in your skin actually but I, I can't explain it but when I wake up in the morning my my skin feels like a baby's bottom it's really smooth really nice right, that's one the next item was sent to me by the company uh, Levin Rose and it was the jojoba oil that they had sent me. Um, you can use it for your hair, for your skin. You can use it um, in any way. And jojoba oil is really good for anybody who does have acne prone skin, believe it or not. I mean, like, you think the word oil and you're putting it on your face and you want to probably run. But honestly, oil is like one of your tried and true saviors <laughs> at least for me it has been as I've gotten you know more in my 40s now and everything so I love using it for in my hair I think it's great my hair but it really impressed me with my skin on top of it all it really I'll wake up in the morning and I, I do put this this is something I do put on for the most part in the evening however there has been some days where I feel like I do need a little something extra in the daytime. It has really, like, my pores, like, I, I, don't, I don't notice my pores as much. Um, it seems to help with my pores, the clarity of my skin. I just love it. I would highly check them out. All right, for hair, um, it was hard. Well, it, it was and it wasn't. It was kind of hard because I do have several products for the hair that I really do enjoy. But the one that stood out the most to me that just blew me away, that I fell in love with, and I did a video on it and just everything, is, you know, from OGX, the uh, B5, B5 Moisture, Moisture and Vitamin Weightless Oil Mist. This stuff is amazing it is wonderful it smells wonderful um, you can put it on your hair like right after you get out of the shower kind of a thing you can spritz it on like how you know not, like right now I could spritz it on um, it just gives something to my hair like life I feel like I feel like this gives me life to my hair and it but it also helps for me to comb through my hair and not have too bad of the knots. I just, I really like this company, but this B5 is by far, by far the best oil mist I have ever got or tried. I love it. So yes, this made it in there. So that's number three. I was also sent 
this by Dr. Dinesse. It's the Hydra Shield Tinted Moisturizer with SPF of 15 and it's oil free. Um, a lot of times, like, I, I got actually introduced to Dr. Dinesse, like, on QVC, but mainly from my friend uh, Christy. Um, she had done, like, different videos about Dr. Dinesse, and um, there's, like, a little group that I, I'm with. And sometimes Dr. Dinesse will, will get in a chat room and we'll all at, get to a chance to ask her some questions and that. I mean, guys, if, if you want to um, learn some things about some skin care from Dr. Dinesse, if you follow me on Facebook or my Twitter page, I always post up when I get a note knowing that she's going to be in the chat room. And if you're interested, um, just keep an eye out. Follow me on Twitter and like my page on Facebook or something like that. I always post up and let everybody know, like, hey, if you want to join us, and I'll give the link and everything. Um, it's just a great time with a whole bunch of us. We get to ask questions, you know, like, or, or tell her, her tell her our problem areas. And a lot of times she'll have contests on there, some you know, little contests or just whatever. And I think that's how I got this, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think my name got pulled out of a, a hat kind of a thing. So, um, but Christy has a channel. I'm going to put a link to her channel down below too, because Christy is a really great person. Her and the beauty diva are Natalie. I will have them links. And if there's anybody else that I mention, I'm going to put their links down below. Always check it out. This here, I have fallen in love with. Her Hydra Shield is an awesome serum and this shade I think is in light did I get it yeah I got it in light I think she has three different shades in this but I love this stuff because it not only hydrates the skin there's an SPF of 15 it's oil free but it still gives me my luminous look that I like so highly recommend the Dr. Dennis Hydra Shield Tinted Moisturizer. If you get a chance to try any of her tinted moisturizers, I would always point to the Hydra Shield one. Okay, for foundation, it ended up being a drugstore foundation. I really, I don't think I've gotten really any high end that I can think of foundations. When I say high end, like if you ever hear me talking about high end, for me, there's drugstore high-end and luxury in, in my category like whenever I'm talking about products and we all know what drugstore is and high-end to me is like a Mali, Laura Geller, Lorac, um, you know Urban Decay, all those kind of things. Luxury to me is like Chanel, uh, YSL or just any of those kind. Those are luxury to me. So drugstore, I, I ended up not getting high-end that I can even think of of a foundation some of these products that I'm mentioning, I am wearing today. Um, and I fell in love with the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum um, Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. This one here, I ended up picking this one. And why I did is because I do like Rimmel. Like This is my only my second foundation that I've tried from Rimmel. I've tried the Wake Me Up Foundation that's a good one too but this one here it gives you a full coverage but it's not too much it's not cakey it just looks like your skin a little bit you know kind of a better kind of a thing um, it still gives me a little bit of my um, dewiness that I do like to have and I have really liked it it's only like seven dollars and some change at least in my Walmart it is very affordable. Rimmel, you cannot go wrong. I have liked their concealers and so far even their foundations. So I would highly recommend checking that one out. For concealer, it was kind of hard for me. I will really be honest. I almost ended up having like three concealers in this um, 15. And then I thought, you know, no, honestly, I'm just going to bring it to the one because the one that really has impressed me. And I did show this in a video. I did talk about it. And it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Concealer. And it comes like 
this, which I know you can't order online for bourgeois. And this is pretty, I mean, it, it, it sets almost like, it's like cream to powder is what it reminds me of, but it doesn't set on my fine lines or anything like that. It's a full coverage concealer. It is really good. It really impressed me. And I had to add this one. I should have done this before I done my foundation, but we'll just go there. Primer. <laughs> I wanted to do it in order, sort of, kind of, but didn't work that way. So primer. I did have to have two primers here. I had to because I really couldn't pick between these two. And um, the first one is, again, another Rimmel. And it's the Lasting Finish Primer from them. And this one is a really nice one from the drugstore if you don't like a silicone feeling base to your primer. I haven't noticed that with this one here. If there is, it's minimum. I don't really notice it. This to me reminds me more of like a light, feather light moisturizer that you're putting on your, on your face more than a primer. Um, so I really like this one. So in the drugstore, you know, it's pretty affordable. And then the other one, I, I love this one, is from Too Faced, the, hang, the Hangover X. Um, it has the coconut water in it. This one definitely doesn't have any silicone in it. It even says here, silicone free. Um, it's a little more, you know, on the higher end pricey, but it's so worth it. It's very hydrating. Um, I think it's great for any mature skin. Uh, person out there so I think you'd really like this okay so that was seven um, mascara I don't have this one open I went through my other one already um, but the mascara that I really ended up liking this year and kind of fell in love with is the cover girl the super sizer um, I have the Star Wars version packaging right now I didn't open it because I don't like to open up too many mascaras. I already have two I'm using right now. The wand is really unique and different, but it really can get through your lashes so well, so good. I did do a video on on this, and I forget what the other thing was. Was it the eyeliner? Yeah, because CoverGirl had sent me. I was so tickled. CoverGirl actually, CoverGirl actually sent me those things. So. I need to eat my hair. My heater's blowing. So definitely the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. It must be, you know, this is crazy. I have a lot of Rimmel stuff. Because once again, a Rimmel item, this will be number nine, is the Scandalize Waterproof Kajal uh, Eyeliner. And this is in just basic black. And mine's getting smaller and smaller now. <laughs> but this is what it looks like, and if you've watched me do any looks like Get Ready With Me's or anything like that, I use this a lot and all the time, and what I really use it for is to get into the, um, the upper inner part of the rim of the eye, and um, tight line as they call it, people call it tight lining, but this one here from, from Rimmel, I, it's my tried and true. Like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna bother getting anything else to use for that area. So, and it's a really good, really good eyeliner in general or scandal eyes. So, I would highly recommend getting it. Let's go ahead and do bronzer. So, the bronzer that I felt I, I've, I have fallen, I did fall in love with, and I felt like it really went good with my fair complexion skin to bronze up and it didn't look like too much too orangey or anything like that and it just worked has worked really good for me it's from mac actually and it was a limited edition it's called golden golden rinse and it was from the summer collection or something i don't even remember what the name of this collection was and it's a perfect shade for me it's I, I don't know, it just, it works really, really good for me. There it is, right there. I just don't feel it's too orange, but it's, it's just perfect. Highlighter, I had to add two, two highlighters in here, kind of like I did the primer, I had to, because I couldn't pick which one I liked the best out of these two, so I put both of them in here. The first one is my little mini Becca, and it's an opal. I got this in my summer 
my summer kit that I got, um, I forgot what the name of it was, but you know, we all know Opal, or most of us do anyway. It's pretty popular here. I do want to try Pearl though. I heard Pearl's really good for the fair complexion. So I do want to try that this year. But there's Opal right there. There it is. And then MAC, another MAC, uh, Perfect Topping Mineralized Skin Finish. Now, I know you can get this. So this is not, I think the design was limited edition that they did on here, but I don't think this is limited edition. I think you can get this anytime. So there's Perfect Topping. It doesn't look like too much of anything, but holy crap, when you put it I mean, it kind of almost resembles opal, so maybe that's why I couldn't pick. You know, let me see here. Yeah, you know what? It's a little bit more, um, opal's more golden. That This one here, Perfect Tubby's more lighter than that. It's more on the rose side, pink side, kind of a rose pink. So right there it is there. There's Perfect Topping. As you can see the difference, because there's opal, and then there's perfect topping. For blush, I have two different blushes here, so I'm adding these as two different blushes. So I'm going to make 112, 113, do it that way. The first blush has to go to Lorac, and it is the one I'm wearing right now on my cheeks. Um, this one's from Lorac, it's from their Baked matte satin blush in flaunt this i have fallen in love with the rock blushes i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely getting some more of these blushes from them the baked matte uh satin blush or whatever they're calling them but flaunt if you are a pink person a pink gal you are going to love flaunt Oh my god, I just fell, I fell in love with this shade. So, so, so pretty. Oh, the pigmentation on these are crazy insane. I mean, just crazy, crazy. And as you can see, it has a nice glowy sheen to it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to actually put it at. Right there it is. Oh my goodness. So the other blush is actually in drugstore and it's a Milani and it's one of the rose blushes. This is one of the newer ones that came out from the rose collection. There's only three. This one here is just a neutral shade. Anyone can get away with wearing this you know, um, pretty much anybody. I don't know um, somebody more of a, a darker complexion. This is in number 10, Awakening Rose. But oh my goodness, I don't know. I just, I kept finding myself grabbing it a good bit. There is like a sheen, there, you'll see what I mean. There's like a more sheen to it. It is just gorgeous. I don't know, there's just, All right, there it is. I love that. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a powder. Um, this should be no surprise to everybody because you, you don't need to be sitting down and whatever. You'll be like, yeah, yeah we, we, we kind of figured I'd be in there. At least if you watch my channel enough, you'll probably not be surprised. But I had to give it to the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day powder, this stuff here. Now, there's nothing great about it. I mean, like, as in, you know, you're swatching it and whatever, you're not really gonna see like anything for except the only thing you're gonna see is brightness to it, maybe a little luminosity or sheen or something like that. And it is just one of those ones that, you know, would brighten your skin up, or brighten your complexion up. Um, minimize the pores, like, you know, cover up the pores. It just looks smooth, airbrushed look. 
and that's about the best way I can describe it. All right, and then for lips, boys, this the lip products are so darn too hard for me because I love my lipsticks, but it's the Color Blur, Maybelline Color Blur uh, Lip Studio, these things here. Okay, I have, I think I have three shades if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't find the other two. This one's in the um, number 50, I like to mauve it, is the one I'm wearing right now. And now they have this thing on the end here that's supposed to, you're, you can move it around and like kind of blur out the lines in your, on your lips or anything. I don't know. I mean, I, I used it, but I don't know if I can say I really see much of a difference by doing that and not doing that. But what I loved about these, and I have several different shades, is these stain on your lips, number one. Um, so these are almost to me like a, a lip stain. I don't know if they actually consider it that or say that on here. Um, but I consider these like a lip stain. You know, it's it's like a, a lip pencil kind of a thing. And that's what I like is you can use it as a lip liner and tra trace around and do the lining part of your lips and then fill it in. Now, with these, I, I will say they do make my lips look more fuller somewhat. And then they do seem to blur the lip lines out pretty much like it does look more you know like smooth and finished and whatever so that was number 15 i hope you enjoyed seeing my my 15 of 2015 and as i said this was a challenge from the beauty diva uh natalie and i will have her link down below i will have christy's uh christy's link down below anyway babies, thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it um if you are not subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Totally free. So yeah, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And um, as always, please just please remember, remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. And I will see you in the next video. You all take care. Mwah. I love you all. Bye-bye. And it's getting darker. Oh, sorry for